Next on the show, Tom Little is here. Tom Little. Don't. Oh, that was so. Oh, oh. There's a certain man who I don't want to see start for this football club again for a long, long time. Jessica, you know already. We had a nice little look at Roberto Firmino's average position in that first half. And my guy was a central defensive striker playing in a double pivot alongside Jordan Henderson. Get him gone. No, no, no more. I, I, I want a striker who's actually up the pitch. I want a striker who's a focal point. Jordan Henderson, James Milner. James Milner didn't complete a final third pass. Couldn't control the football. Couldn't retain the football. Jordan Henderson, he's got no technical ability. He, he can't withstand the press. Cost us the second goal. Get them both gone. Van Dijk, oh, Virgil, Virgil, please just start to tackle. Just start to tackle, I beg. Just start to tackle. Stop trying to have an all. Start to tackle. Trent, that first goal. People are going to forget about that first goal. My guy watches Jaden Sancho control the football. He watches Jaden Sancho turn Milner. He watches Jaden Sancho spend three seconds trying to pick out the corner and then goes, oh, I might have to close him down. And then still doesn't get there. Still doesn't get there. Robertson. Oh, and, and Andrew. I tell you what, to be fair, Rob, Robertson has been consistent this season. He's been consistently inconsistent with his crosses. They either go too short, too far over, too low, too high. They're never good. They're never good. It, it's it's a major, major, major concern that where I'm sitting in after this game going, my my midfield for next game is Fabio Carvalho and Harvey Elliott, two 19-year-olds. I'm sitting there think. My club is sitting there thinking we can have a title challenge with two 19-year-olds as our most competent midfielders. We've got 10 days to save our title challenge. That is a cold, hard fact. We have to buy a midfielder. If we don't buy a midfielder, it is gross negligence. It's gross negligence because that today was not good enough. Not good enough at all. This team's too complacent, it seems. They sit there, rock up to these away games, these big games, and go, oh, uh, it's just, it's United, it's Palace, it's fun. We're Liverpool. We made the Champions League final last year. We came second last year. They'll just roll over. They'll just accept the 2 0 loss. We'll be in and out, all done and dusted. Now, honestly, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> three games in, three games in, and this is it. This is it. And if Jurgen Klopp's actually said that, I can't. I can't with him, man. Oh, I can't. No, I'm sure. I'm sure he has. Um, it was it was quoted by a few big aggregators, but um, yeah, I agree with you. It is close. It is gross negligence if they don't do anything. And I, I implore every Liverpool fan online who watches the communist Merseyside outfits who will sit there and defend it and defend it and defend it. I want to see you guys call it out. I really do. Uh, young Tom, thanks for coming on, mate. And we'll chat again soon, buddy. Thank you very much indeed.